Hello, this is 2Z Porygon with my video review of, well, this is no character you know of. It's not a, it's not a character from anywhere you know of. The, what, the, what this is, is a, um, is a snake plush that I got from the Riverbank Zoo. Um, I decided to review this plush for whatever reason, even I don't know, but just to show you what it looks like and stuff. And one thing I should, I should tell you, this snake is, is really long and it's, and it's big too. Um, this is how long it is, it's, it even, uh, um, goes, hangs off the table, too. So, I thought I'd show you the snake and, you know, for what it looks like. As I, as I just said, I got this from the Riverbank Zoo, um, Elephant's Trunk Gift Shop. It was about $17, and I thought I'd get the snakes to, um, you know, for videos and pictures and stuff. Most, mostly pictures for DeviantArt. Uh, let me um, tell you about uh, the snake's color scheme. Well, actually, first let me tell you. Uh, uh, call me crazy, but um, I actually gave the snake a name. Um, if you're a DeviantArt user and you saw my um, Happy Tree Friends pictures, um, I, I called this snake Legs. I mean, yeah, I, I called it Legs after my Happy Tree Friend OC character, who is also a snake. If you're a, a DeviantArt user and you saw my drawings with legs and stuff, then maybe you know. Most of you don't, but but yeah, that's what I that's what I thought I named my snake. Now, um, the color scheme on legs we have um, it's in fact um like an anaconda if you want to call it because it's got green everywhere and yellow of course. So yeah, on on the top side of it, it has green, all the way from its head to. Yeah, the very end of it, and it's got yellow on the on its underside too. And it's also got some yellow on on its head, on the side of its head, and some black too. And it's got this a uh, plastic eye, a plastic eye that looks like a marble or something. And it has a black tongue. I don't even know why it's black. It should have been like red or pink or something. I I don't I don't know what kind of what kind of snake has a black tongue, but. It's also got some black stripes going around its face. Well, not around it, but on each side of its face, like you see right here. And um, I believe these are supposed to be like its nostrils or something. Snakes have noses, right? Well, I don't, I don't know if it is its nostrils, but and also the snakes got um got um um black spots with yellow around it, going all the way down its body, like. To the very end of it, it's got spots all over it. So, um, oh yeah, and here's something, here's something to show you. The snake also had a tag, like, um, right here. It had a tag right here, which I cut off, like I do to all my, all my plush toys. And that's one thing I forgot to mention when I, when I reviewed Mordecai Rigby and my Toy Story Collection Bullseye. But, um, so, yeah, I just... I, I just got the snake from the gift shop. If that's, yeah, I did go to the zoo yesterday with my mother and her, and her friend with, with her daughter and grandson. And to show you this, I kept the map to the Riverbank Zoo from yesterday. This is what it looks like. I, if, um, if you live in South Carolina, then maybe you've been to the Riverbank Zoo, but if you don't live in South Carolina, then you don't know that place. But this is the, um, the map to the Riverbank Zoo and Garden. It shows you, um, Everywhere where you can find the animals and stuff, like the, um, like the gorillas are right there, and the, um, there's the elephants as well as the giraffes, the zebras, and ostriches. My favorite is the aquarium and the reptile house right here. Uh, yeah, I, I always like going to the, to the reptile house and the aquarium. It's full of, it's full of the, um, lizards, snakes, and fish. And believe it or not, they actually have sharks and jellyfish. In fact, yesterday when I went to the aquarium, I looked at one of the tanks, and there was actually a scuba diver inside feeding all the fish, and there was a there was a shark in there too. I was like, "Come on, jo come on, Jaws, eat the diver, get him, get him," but that never happened. It, it wasn't even as big as Jaws anyway. And on the on the top of, on the top of here, it shows you what all these symbols mean, like like the alphabets. Like A means the Elephant's Trunk Gift Shop, which which is where I got the snake, and um. Like the icy hut, which is F, if if you can see it, which I know you can, and the numbers right here, like um wild encounters, it's got the penguin feeding and the um aquarium dive demonstration, and then there's all the rides and attractions like um 
ride the spots and stripes railroad and the um well, uh, climb climb the wild adventure rock wall I actually did see that um if at the rock wall that's number seven so that would be right right here yeah yeah the the rock wall is right there I was trying to trying to see where my finger is on the camera. So yeah, I kept the I kept the map from from the zoo since yesterday. And yeah, now as I said about my snake, this is um, I mean as I said about legs, he's actually very very long. Like um, here, I got some measuring tape right here. So let's just see exactly how long it is, starting from the very end of it all the way to its head. First, let's make sure it's completely straight. All right, so I believe it's about um, it's at um, a four feet and a fourth, I think. It stopped at about 52 inches. So um, apparently, I guess this um, I guess legs is about maybe four and a, yeah, four feet and a fourth. That's all I can. That's all I can think of. Or yeah, I, I believe it's a four feet and a fourth. Yep, this this is this is indeed a huge snake plush that I got, and 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 I was happy to get it so I can, you know, take some good pictures for DeviantArt and stuff. And that's why I decided to. Well, I guess that's why I decided to review this plush for you and show you what it looks like. When I posted the picture of the snake on DeviantArt, I did get some. Two people did like it. Like one one person said that's a really nice anaconda I got, and I did love the appreciation, and that's what I replied. Um, if if you do live in South Carolina and you know and you do go to the Riverbank Zoo, then then you will see um, a bunch of snakes available in different colors. Like there was also yellow and pink. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm a guy, so as for me, I always go for the green. Um. So um. I I I really have nothing else to say. I I tell I told you about I cut off its tag and all of its colors and stuff and its tongue. So I believe that's that's all I have to say. I hope I hope you do like what I got here. I hope you do like my plush. So I I'll now see you later.